What's good, good people? I am Adel Jamil, your friendly neighborhood beat making instructor at Point Blank Music School in LA. And welcome to this tutorial on how to select drums for your lo-fi beats in Ableton. Here, I'll be sharing with you some tips and tricks on how to choose the perfect drum sounds for your lo-fi beats. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned producer, you're sure to learn something new. So let's talk about it. Let's start by organizing our kit. I have an empty drum rack here and I like to arrange my kit pieces in groups of four with the bottom row containing the primary kit pieces, the kick, snare, closed hi-hat, and open hi-hat down in this row. In the next row above, we'll put our secondary kit pieces, which will contain variations of the kick, snare, and closed hi-hat. We'll also put in a clap or a snap, depending on how we feel. Above that row, we're gonna put in our fill pieces, which would be tom hits or tom fills. We can also put in snare rolls and snare fills. And in the last row at the top, we can put in a variety of cymbals like crashes, rides, and reverse cymbals. For this video, we're gonna focus on the first two kit pieces as it'll provide the main groove. We'll fill out the rest of the kit in another video. Before we dive into selecting drums, it is essential to understand what makes a drum sound lo-fi. Lo-fi drums are usually characterized by a warm, dusty, and nostalgic sound. They sound like they were recorded on old equipment or sampled from old vinyl records. To achieve this sound, we're gonna look for drum samples that have a bit of noise and a limited frequency range. Now that we know how to organize our kit and what to look for in a lo-fi drum sound, it's time to start searching for samples. Ableton comes with a wide range of drum samples, but you can also find great lo-fi drum samples on sites like Splice or Drum Broker. When selecting samples, listen to them in context of your beat to see how they fit. You can also try layering multiple samples to create a unique sound. We're going to look for our samples in Ableton's Chop and Swing Pack. Take your time when selecting samples. You want to find something that connects with you and your style. Okay, so let's get started. I have this jazzy piano loop that I created in another video. Check it out to see how we did it. And I also have an empty drum rack with a pre-programmed pattern so we can just start laying in samples and hear it in context with the beat. We go into Ableton's Packs folder and let's go down to Chop and Swing. Let's find our samples, one shots, drums, and let's start off with the kick. That one's cool. Too deep for this for this beat. That one's like has is a little live, but a little too live for me. That looks nice. That one's cool too. Ooh. I'm gonna go with corner on this one. I'm just gonna drag this one in. I'm gonna transpose this down. Just get a little, not too deep. Right there is good. And I'm gonna copy this one for our secondary kick. And then bring this one up. And we're just going to shape it up just a little bit so we can have a little difference. A little contrast of the first kit. All right, let's move on to the snare. I 
That one cracks quite nicely. I like the snap of that one. Ooh, but this one, this one's real good. Mmm. Now we can feel the swing a little bit. I like that. Let's go ahead and add another snare while we're here. I like this one. Not too dissimilar from the first one. Yeah. Let's go ahead and add some hats to it. That one this is kind of nice. Almost something a little more subtle. Ooh, that was gonna sit nicely. Let's go and bring this one in. Mmm. All right. Add another closed hi hat. I think this one's it. I think this is the one. Let's move this closed hi hat over here, actually. There it is. Now let's find us an open hi-hat. That one was calling for too much attention. That was nice. Almost with the more and more subtlety, I think this was gonna fit perfect. Let's put our open hi-hat right here. There it is. Now we can add a clap to come to accentuate that last snare hit. fit nicely there there it is there now that we've selected our drums we can add some effects to enhance that lo-fi vibe something where we can add some warmth and maybe some grit to this so I'm gonna add some saturation to the overall drum kit drive up a little bit, bring the bass down, bring the frequency down as well, I want to also add some redux and bring the sample rate down. jitter up a little bit and 
and add a little post filter to that. Right down just a little bit. You can already hear the kind of crunch, a little bit of noise that's adding to that. Let's shape it up a little bit. All right. And let's just filter that out a little bit, just a little bit of filter. Open the filter up with a less steep slope, 12 dB per octave. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Nice. That's starting to sound real gritty. Real gritty. I like it. The vibe is nice. Finally, it's time to adjust the level of the drums so that way they're not too loud, not too soft. Let's go ahead and open up this rack. start by bringing all my levels down and bringing them in one at a time. Whoops, I've got this guy over here. Start with the main kick. Minus 10 dB sounds nice. And then I'm gonna do my main snare first. I like to have my snares maybe about one or two dBs above my kick. That's nice. Let's bring these hi-hats in now. Bring in that second kick. And about minus six dBs quieter than the primary kick, just to add some dynamic range. Maybe we can do a 3 dBs more. There it is. That's better. Feels more balance.
I like that second snare right there. Let's just bring that snap all the way up. Maybe bring it down just a little bit. That's nice. There we go. And then last but not least, let's get this other hi-hat back in. We can bring down these chords just a little bit. There we go. So I'm just using my ears to find the right balance between the drums and this piano loop. As we add more instruments, we may have to do other adjustments. But this is a good start. And that is it. By following these steps, you should be able to select the perfect drums for your lo-fi beats in Ableton. Remember to keep experimenting with different samples, effects, and levels to create a unique sound that fits your style. Thank you for watching and let us know in the comments what topics you want us to cover. We have more videos like this one waiting for you on our channel, so do the like and subscribe thing so you don't miss any of our tips and tutorials. If you want to go deeper into learning all things music, check out our courses at pointblankmusical.com. I am Adel Jamil, beat making instructor at Point Blank Music School in LA. Be good and be creative, and we'll see you in the next video.